Chris Hemsworth focusing on how to prevent dementia. Chris Hemsworth is a 39-year-old actor best known for his roles in the movies such as Extraction, Thor, and The Avengers. He was recently working on a documentary for Disney Plus and National Geographic. The Limitless series is about combating aging and the body reaching its full potential. This series is focusing on insights on how the body can fight illness, perform better, and even reverse the aging process with healthy lifestyle habits. Throughout this series, Hemsworth has had his blood genetically tested to see what his future may hold for him and his health. Hemsworth was preparing to do the fifth episode in this series, and that episode was focusing on memory and brain health. In preparation for this episode, Hemsworth had his blood drawn to determine his risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. Hemsworth is no stranger to Alzheimer's dementia. He has a grandfather that is presently being treated for this progressive disease. Hemsworth knew he had risk factors that made him a dementia risk. Even knowing that he has a family member with Alzheimer's disease, the results of this blood test were devastating news for him. The Marvel actor was actually filmed as the doctor told him he had two copies of the gene, APOE4. He inherited a gene from his mother and his father. That means that Hemsworth's risk factors are eight to ten times more likely to develop dementia than an average person. This new biomarker test, APOE4, or the, I'm going to screw this up, but I'm going to try to say it, apolipoprotein, apolipoprotein E gene is the strongest risk factor gene for developing Alzheimer's disease. 25% of the population carries only one copy of the APOE4 gene. Just 2 to 3% of the population carry two copies of that gene. This makes Chris Hemsworth a rare case. It is important to note here that even if a person has two copies of the genes, it does not mean they will definitely develop Alzheimer's disease. Hemsworth News has many of my family caregivers asking me if they should get tested to see if they are predisposed to developing any type of dementia. Many want to learn how to reduce risk factors for dementia. So while Hemsworth has a grandfather actively suffering with Alzheimer's disease, it is the results of this test that have given him a wake-up call. He feels motivated to make healthy lifestyle habits to reduce his risk factors and prevent Alzheimer's disease, or at least to slow the progression of the, his disease should he develop it. I tell all my family get caregivers, we should all live life as if we are going to develop dementia. Start young and incorporate healthy lifestyle choices into your life. There are, of course, there are drawbacks to genetic testing. While well, some feel it will motivate them to make them feel better and make those healthy lifestyle changes, others feel that they would not be ready to hear the news. Some would just give up and do nothing, accepting that it is inevitable to develop Alzheimer's disease. Before we had biomarkers, I was encouraging others to live life as if they had the risk of developing dementia. And there's so many different risk factors that impact your future brain health. Genetics does not mean that this is your destiny. You must always consider the outside factors, your environment, what you eat, how you deal with stress, and how much you sleep. You need to consider all these things when developing a plan to prevent Alzheimer's disease. We as a society are seeing 1 million newly diagnosed dementia cases a year in the U.S. 
the rates for dementia rising are believed to be due to the ability to diagnose more cases with technology advancement. There is also a belief that the increase in medical conditions such as type 2 diabetes, vascular disease, and stroke and lifestyle factors play a huge role in developing dementia. A sedentary lifestyle, a sleep disorder, obesity, and eating nutrient-poor diet all contribute to the increase in developing this horrible disease. Overall health is a risk factor to decreasing the risk factors for developing dementia. We are seeing the results of poor lifestyle choices and consequences of eating fast food, sugar and processed food, as well as those that have some form of addiction. Little to no physical activity as risk factors contributing to those developing dementia. I always say that what is good for the heart is good for the brain. Focusing on heart and brain health will reduce your risk factors for developing dementia. Chris Hemsworth feels motivated to incorporate healthy lifestyle habits to decrease or delay his chances of developing this devastating disease. Here are a few tips on what to incorporate into your dementia prevention plan. One of the easiest things you can do to reduce your risk of developing dementia is getting out in the sun. Low levels of vitamin D have been linked to an increased risk of dementia. So get out and enjoy some daylight and physical activity. It will lift your mood and spirits. And I make a point to get my dementia patients outside to enjoy sun and regular physical activity as much as possible. It is to slow cognitive decline and slow the progression of the disease. A study published in the JAMA 2017 Neurology article on dementia and prevention looked at the link between smoking, diabetes, and elevated blood pressure. This study looked at the chance of an individual developing dementia over 25 years. The results were surprising. Research suggests that those dealing with high blood pressure in their 40s increase their risk of developing dementia over the next 25 years by 40%. Research shows that those with type 2 diabetes risk of developing dementia increased by up to 80%. When you realize that's almost as much of an increased risk as Chris Hemsworth's genetic vulnerability to developing Alzheimer's, it's a little scary. It really puts things in perspective. Of course, more Research is needed to determine a person's risk factors and overhaul health to lower the risk of preventing Alzheimer's or dementia. Healthy choices and lifestyle changes, even if you are in your mid-40s, may make a difference in your dementia risk. Let's talk about the Mediterranean diet or the DASH diet. DASH, D-A-S-H, stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. Both of these diets are heart-healthy diets. A balanced diet can prevent cardiovascular disease and improve your brain health. Both diets encourage using olive oil and will also help maintain blood sugars and prevent high blood pressure. Of course, this is the best way to prevent vascular dementia. Vascular dementia is probably the most preventable dementias of all the hundreds of dementias out there. And that's because it has to do with heart health and you have control over that. Research studies show eating a heart-healthy plant-based diet is associated with better thinking skills. This lowers the risk of developing cognitive decline about around 30 to 35 percent. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Eating a heart-healthy diet will also help with maintaining a healthy weight while reducing the risk for diabetes, depression, high cholesterol, heart disease, and blood pressure, stroke, and some cancers. Hey, that's a lot of reason to eat heart-healthy diet.
Developing any of these medical conditions can increase your risk for dementia. This is one people don't think about often, but practice or good oral hygiene and good gut health. Many problems that occur with the mouth occur from digestive issues. The mouth is known as your oral microbiome. It is connected to your gut microbiome. When you develop a leaky gut, it can manifest as systemic inflammation and bacterial overgrowth, and this can be seen in the mouth. The microbiomes of individuals with dementia have distinct types and higher levels of bacteria compared to healthy individuals. It is believed that the bacteria plays a role in the inflammation and the degeneration of the brain cells. Another dementia prevention strategy is to become physically active. The health benefits of exercise have been shown to reduce the risk of dementia. Physical activity has been proven to slow the progression of brain cell deterioration in individuals who have already developed a cognitive disorder. That means as long as you stay busy and active, you can slow the progression of a disease process memory disorders. The recommendations are 30 minutes a day of moderate intensity physical activity. So if you're not able to do 30 minutes a day at one time, the good news is exercising in 10 minute increments is just as effective as doing it all at one time. And remember, heart disease is a contributing factor to increase your risk factor for developing dementia. So physical exercise can stimulate brain cell growth and encourage repair. It is also required for adequate blood flow to the brain. Physical exercise improves your vascular health by improving your blood vessels health. Another strategy is to do something new and different every day. There are many ways to exercise your brain. Don't be afraid to learn something new. It may be as simple as taking a new way home or walking backwards or using your non-dominant hand to attempt activities. Of course, learning a new hobby or putting a puzzle together has been shown to decrease the risk for developing dementia by increasing the strength and communication between the brain cell connections. Enjoying mental stimulating activities like games contribute to decreasing cognitive decline. Remaining social and interacting with others is also a way to prevent or delay the progression of dementia. Just talking to friends and family can boost your brain function as well as lift your mood. I know it sounds silly, but if you consider how the brain works when we interact with one another, it makes sense. When we interact, we have to process what is said. Then the brain has to sign a meaning so that information to that information, and then it has to analyze it. Then we have to interpret and express ourselves in a response to that interaction. We also have a filtering system that monitors our impulses and inhibition controls to ensure appropriate response. Studies show that individuals that have satisfying relationships have fewer health problems as well as good brain health, and they live longer too. For those that have issues with hearing loss, it is important to get tested and wear those hearing aids should you need them. Research shows that seniors with hearing loss have an increased risk of developing dementia or an increased risk of dementia over time than those who don't lose their hearing or those that don't wear their hearing aids. <laughs> There's so much noncompliance about hearing aids in the seniors. I know, they're afraid that makes them look old. <laughs> I can tell you that I have, over my 50 years in nursing, I have experienced more seniors with hearing loss being noncompliant with wearing their very expensive hearing aids. They'll make excuses to make it look like they're old. It's, or, that makes me giggle as most are over 75 years of age or older, so they may use the excuse that they don't fit right. Whatever the excuse, try to explain that cognitive impairment will increase the risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. Another tip for dementia prevention is volunteering, traveling, and staying active in the workforce as we get older 
stimulates the mind and body as we work to stay socially active. The main points to human health is the fundamental needs humans have for connection for one another. I was so saddened to learn of Chris Hemsworth's test results. Understand, he does not have Alzheimer's at this time. He has the highest risk factors to develop this horrible disease. And I hope Hemsworth will take his news and promote the importance of a heart-healthy diet and the importance of good physical health to prevent the risk of dementia. We, as a society, need to prioritize prevention and education. Reduced risk with healthy lifestyle factors can make a difference. I hope Hemsworth will take time as a superhero and educate our youth on the long-term effects of the choices they make at a young age, be it alcohol, drugs, or smoking. I hope he will educate our youth and older adults on the importance of alcohol-free days or even several alcohol-free days, and that not smoking is important as well. So live to reduce your risk factors to prevent Alzheimer's disease. I'm Diane Carbo, RN with Caregiver Relief. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode of Caregiver Relief. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or suggestions for future videos, topics you'd like us to cover, or even improvements you'd like to see on the channel, drop them in the comments below.